All right, YouTubers, I'm back with another video. And in this session, I'm going to do a full review on Icon and let you know exactly why am I picking up more of it now. I'm trying to get a lot more because I'm getting ready for what's coming ahead. So uh, another update is Fire Token. Their ICO is launched and they already sold about 25% in their pre-sale. So you guys better hop on it first because it's 40 cents. And at the end, I'm also going to talk a little bit about Social Wallet too. That's a... Uh, a platform where you can send fire tokens or any other token in works with so yeah a little more about that later on but first I want to go through the, the last video and reward one person a hundred dollars for comedy so let's start with that first all right who do we have here Holly Chadili wealth is stability the ability to live in a safe environment where can I be productive all I want to do is have free will I don't need a giant mansion in the country I do need a small home in the country. I don't need a Lambo. I need a newer and more reliable vehicle. I, I don't need caviar and shark fin. I do need a balanced diet, a half decent kitchen, and a fridge that works. Crypto is currently my only way out of poverty as a job situation is that bad here. All right, so this sounds like a desperate need for Bitcoins. Um, <laughs> uh, I was hoping this actually pertains to the previous video a little more, but hey, you did comment so you do get rewarded all right now that's out the way so please read this here i am not a financial advisor and any information given is only for entertainment or educational purposes so you can go ahead and take a quick read here to uh these three rules for investing it's really helpful when you're coming into uh, crypto since it's very high risk so i'm not going to go ahead and explain it but go ahead and pause it and read it if you want save a little time here so fire token their pre ICO started and they are selling so you have 25% roughly sold um, they have three days left and you guys better hop on this quick it's 40 cents all right so this platform uh, if you actually seen all my previous videos it's going to change how people are trading all right so they're gonna do this by moving in volume and they're trying to level the playing field against financial institutions. You know, they got a lot of cool stuff going on. They have a fire arcade, so you guys gotta come and check out their site. Their new site looks beautiful. I mean, just take a look at this and you'll see why, all right? So come check it out. Um, I did multiple, uh, you know, updates on them and they have a lot of changes and a lot of uh, communication with the community. So also check out the Telegram. I'm gonna leave a link for the Telegram group to check out. All right, so right now, Bitcoin, this is actually a bull flag that was forming. And I was trying to make a video with this bull flag forming, but hey, already it's too late because the breakout occurred. So all this has to do is get past the 9700 mark, which I am leaning towards because I know, or well, I believe that this uh, time around, it's going to go past 10,000. But first, it needs to test the 10,000 level several times before it can break past and reach, you know, 10,003 over here. The next resistance line I'll see is 11,005. So, so if you see right here, um, it's a strong breakout the entire time to the 9,000 levels, all right? And then instead of it dropping back down and retracing, it continues sideways, all right? It was building up all this uh, pressure and that's what this bear flag indicates but then now it broke out so we're looking at a potential potential move up all right so right there 12,000 if another bull flag was going to form it would be the length of the pole so the next level up will be 12,000 that's if another bull flag like this forms. so um as long as we test the 10,000 level once twice i have a strong feeling that it's going to break past it all right i could be wrong obviously you know we could go back down to who knows this was a seven eight eight thousand levels all right highly doubt it um you know just based on my instinct and how everything's going with the news and one thing i want to really mention here is that btc dominance has been dropping and it's going into altcoins so 36% there so all right so this is a previous look on what it 
on Bitcoin's dominance before. This is 2013 all the way to now. So you can see that it was all dominated by Bitcoin. You can see maybe about 90% all the other altcoins. And you see the list here, you know, you have Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. Um, their dominance was nowhere close to what Bitcoin is. But look what happened here. At one point, this is last year, sometime around summer, Ethereum took off and started controlling the market. Bitcoin went down and now, after that, it reversed, right? So then Bitcoin took over dominance again and Ethereum went down. But right now, look what happened to all these altcoins. You see that white, that white line right there, actually it's more of like a, a light gray, um, is altcoins, all right? Other coins um, that are not on the list here. So that started taking off and that was early January. And we all seen that, um, that massive, spike in price for all altcoins all right and then bitcoin lost dominance because everyone's moving all their money into altcoins during the altcoin season so right now after that bitcoin took dominance again all right altcoins loot lost their dominance and right now the altcoins are coming back hard and bitcoin's losing dominance but this thing will turn around soon eventually okay so we've seen all this huge ramp up look at this EOS, Tron, Cardano, and also missing Ontology that had one of the biggest runs up uh, versus, I mean, I think compared to uh, EOS is about the same. All right, buying Ontology uh, at $1.80, it went to $10 within a matter of months, you know, just one month, right? So for that to happen, it's uh, in that short amount of time, it's pretty amazing. All right. Um, but not surprising in the crypto world. So what I'm trying to say is that that with all this ramp up in altcoins, people will have to take their profit and it will get shifted back to Bitcoin. Okay, so that's why you'll see this wave down, up, down, up and down, giving altcoin dominance. And when altcoin and people are taking profit off of altcoin, Bitcoin will be more dominant again all right, and altcoin will move, move down. So I'm expecting after 10,000, uh, possibly when all the new money rushes in, FOMO in, try to get into Bitcoin, it'll pump the price even further. Um, who knows, 12,000, 15,000, we don't know when, but then when, when all the new money starts coming back in because they're seeing interest and want, don't wanna miss the train this time around, and it starts making mainstream headlines, you're gonna see a big pump in Bitcoin's price. And then you're gonna see people even taking profits off their altcoin and putting them back to Bitcoin, further enhancing the price of Bitcoin, okay? So um, it's gonna happen eventually, but not right now. After 10,000, we don't know when, but it's gonna happen, all right? Keep that in mind. So right now we have here Icon. This is actually the, the main Thing I want to state on my video because if you notice all the protocol coins where you could launch, you know, uh, dApps, decentralized apps, all right, ICOs, they're the ones that are going to be the main competitors in the market. Not, it's not going to be those ICOs and dApps that are launched on these protocols, all right. Um, it's going to be the protocol itself. So Neo. You know, they have their own protocol, their own language. Ethereum, obviously, is, an, is the main runner up. Now, if you're talking about adoption, Ethereum is number one. Neo is number two. Look how many dApps they already, they already have. And they have all quality dApps, too. So I started putting more money onto Neo because it has more room for growth. Ethereum, if you think about it, uh, it going from 700 back to 1,004. Where was that? That's a 2x, right? But Neo, $80.00. Sure, it could go back to 160, all right, for the 2X right now. But they have way more room to get where, close to where Ethereum is at, you know, which is maybe um, to that level at 300, you know, like when Ethereum was 300 during summertime last year. Neo can do that too, all right? So Neo has way more room to grow because Ethereum already took off. Their market cap's already at uh, the top three I believe or top two um, on coin market cap so what I'm looking for now is uh, an, another protocol coin with the best potential for growth 
and the, the one on my list is icon okay if you see the price here on coin market cap let's see they're at four dollar 44 at a 1.7 billion dollar market cap icon has so much more room to grow catch up to neo somewhere around this level a and they have a strong potential to even get up to the top 10 top five okay and i'm going to explain to you more why uh shortly but just take a quick look at this neo's right here at 5.5 billion market cap 84 dollars neo can definitely catch up all right even though ethereum has um the most adoption neo is catching up so icon they already got dApps, you know already um launched this one is on its way and they've been sleeping for a long time they've been very quiet and just building up energy right now to break out so here we go let's start with the icon presentation all right and may 4th 2018 why i'm loading up on icon right what they're about is hyper connecting the world and what does that mean is that they're actually creating their platform to communicate with bitcoin ethereum neo qtum and whatever blockchain out there so that they could all communicate together this is the master blockchain this will be the master protocol if it can communicate with all other cryptos out there all right we, we if you go on to ethereum's platform you can't do that if you're going to go on metamask and use your you know erc20 wallet you can only use it with other erc20 wallets but what if you you get on icon icx and you know get on your metamask with icon right what if you could start sending bitcoin neo qtum you know to icon because it's all interchangeable all right so this is going to be the master coin when it comes to comparing all the other coins this is, go this is going to be the one that ties everything together you guys see so it's blockchain 3.0 all right neo's outdated is blockchain 2.0 and this is on a different level and it's on the same level as cardano you know when you talk about advancement technology for smart contracts this is going to change the game here all right and why crypto of korea all right so this is korea's ethereum obviously right here you have china's neo they, they have qtum and neo in china right they're going to be fighting and racing to make the best smart contracts on those platforms in china i don't even think china's allowed to uh <laughs> use other smart contracts in their country i don't think their government will actually approve of that they want them to use their own smart contract protocols right so now you have japan you know ada and ethereum eos in the western i mean everyone else is using ethereum eos um or especially ethereum but it's going to be a race all right korea is going to have their own techs trying to make the best dApps out there all right each country they're going to actually have the best of the best creating decentralized apps and launching icos off of those platforms in their country it's going to be a race guys so and you know that korea they're leading in technological advancement if you've seen they sold the most display screens you know your samsung phones the phones as well samsung tvs all right they're way ahead in technology all right so they have a very strong chance to actually compete in this field and they could definitely kill off a lot of these other smart contracts as time goes so they also have the highest volume exchanges if you see upbit bitthumb their volume on those exchanges are on the top six all right i think bitthumb might be six upbit maybe three or four or somewhere like something like that so their volume um there's a lot more crypto users in korea than usa all right uh there's just yeah the volume is just much higher so with that said you know that korea will have a large impact when it comes to uh using icx all right so their their dApps already started it's not in beta mode or you know testnet all right um you know even though ada they don't have any dApps launched yet ada like they they do have a very strong platform um but it's going to take some time to develop but hey the race is on and it's all about early adoption okay so icx they're already they already have the dApps now what is this here small gate stove ico built on icx all right so if you don't know what small gate is they created a game called crossfire and this one uh, says 
Guinness World Book of Records, there's 4.2 million users worldwide playing at the same time. All right. So this beats World of Warcraft. If you guys thought World of Warcraft is big, this is even bigger. All right. They also had a competition uh, and there was 37.5 million unique visitors, viewers. And also the company Crossfire itself raked in 930 million off of selling these skins or, or in-game items, you know. So it's a free game, but you know, they sell skins, in-game items, you know, just to uh, keep everyone engaged. Close to a billion dollars, all right? So this is a lot of money to make. And this is a professional gaming company, okay? So now you have a professional uh, gaming company that has a proven track record of having one of the most popular games in the world. I've seen Ethereum's platform and there's people trying to launch games on it and it's all generic. It doesn't function, it's slow, it doesn't work, okay? But having a real game is something unheard of on the blockchain, all right? This is going to change the game once this company starts developing their games. I'm very excited to see this. And wouldn't it be nice to, you know, play something similar to like a first person shooter, but right. You know, like even like this, if even copy a game similar to this, right? First person shooter where you can actually level up your character with items. All right, so check them out, guys. Smilegate, still of ICO. Man, I need to get more information on how to get on this ICO because if you have a company this big <laughs> creating a game on the, the blockchain, man, I'm sold. All right, most importantly, their partnerships. So you can see that they do have uh, banks over here, security firm, exchanges. You have large corporations like Samsung, all right? You have universities too. They're test piling all their, their protocol and, you know, creating some really cool stuff there. So right over here, all right, you see a Deloop, Daily, DaVinci, it's all subdivision of Icon. And they're actually networking and working with all these large corporations. These are big names too, you know. None of these are small. So you guys got to really realize how big Icon is spreading throughout Korea. And this is still in the early phase too. So also on top of the blockchain, there's Kyber Network they're partnering. There's a lot of strategic partnership that they made. Samsung is another one. And Hyundai okay so when you go to korea no one is using iphones people are all using samsung galaxy all right and when what you see them driving is hyundai's okay hyundai's and kia's but you already have two of the largest companies that represents korea getting involved with blockchain technology you already know what's going to happen i don't have to say too much after that right and the rumor is samsung galaxy will be adopting icx applications all right just a rumor but might as well buy up now right sell it later when it release up it too it's also partnered with bitrex and icx is already listed on up it so everyone's saying that they will eventually be listed on bitrex all right and you know bitrex volume in america is huge i believe they're probably nine for ten and um coin market cap um, according to the volume so definitely up there in top in terms of volume all right and they have hedge fund investments coming in all right so Here's the CEO of Pantera Capital. He has his eyes on Icon for 2018. And you can go ahead and view this video from 818 to 844. You can find his little segment on what he says about Icon, but he's definitely, this heaviest bag is going to be on Icon. And that's for his hedge fund, all right? For all the investors for a very good reason. These guys know what they're talking about. So now you should know that these hedge fund management companies they network with other hedge funds you know they they're all they all have close ties you know with banks or whatnot so it's only going to spread from that point on all right he's not going to be the only hedge fund you know company that's going to be doing this with icon there's going to be a lot more coming right over here he said he admitted that icon is bigger than the likes of bitcoin ethereum and eos all right this is a bold statement but there's a really good reason why he said that all right so stick to the whales guys think like a whale all right think like him another thing is that caught my attention is the ico legalization now they're lifting the ban in korea or they're pushing to lift the ban in korea here's a full article you can read i'm not gonna go through the entire thing um you can find this uh this entire guide in on the description below so just go and check it out if you want to read more but you have the democratic party trying to push for legalization of icos all right it's going to happen you guys know that already all right, crypto, it's going to be involved in all these countries. They're going to regulate it and make it work. All right. Initially, they have to kind of crack down, regulate, um, you know, these the blockchain industry, you know, ICOs or whatnot, just to show that they have power over what's going on. OK, 
but eventually they know they're going to lose money if they don't allow it to happen so you know that korea is a huge tech country right so why would they limit their own technology in the country like what america is doing what they're actually limiting <laughs> limiting creation and growth okay that's what america is doing with all their standard of regulation it's a little too much which will hinder the growth but it's hey it's the money's gonna go to Korea like it always does. You know, just like how they've always been selling these TVs, cell phones, and look, like Japan too, or China. They're the ones exporting, all right? All across the world. USA, sad to say, we're buying up all their products. It's just the way the system is. Everyone is outsourcing. The companies in USA are out outsourcing jobs in different countries because it's cheaper. We're losing money in USA, you know? And all the productivity and technology is all purchased elsewhere you know throughout the world it's sad but true all right so so there you go legalization of ico is going to happen for korea and that's why launching icos on icx would not be a problem okay so if that's going to hinder the price because there is a ban technically hey they're already launched several icos it's, they're working with the government already so don't even worry about it it's going to go through all right all right so you guys know it's going to happen moving forward now the price is very undervalued all right so we're looking at there you go right over here it's at four dollar forty all right last night it dropped all the way down close to 415 and it bounced right back up so it's following and respecting this trend line over here very strongly if you notice it didn't even big break past this uh this blue line here okay so very strong chance that this can continue onward but it's at four dollar forty three right now all right it's very underpriced if if you think about buying into neo somewhere around 30 dollars this is it right now all right this is icx when neo was on 30 dollars because they both would have a 1.7 billion market cap if it was at 30 dollars all right and icx is a complete sleeper they don't focus on marketing all they work on is partnerships and developing their product all right so that's all they do and they're doing a token swap right now so pretty much i have my icx on binance i'm gonna let binance just take care of token swap very convenient and that's their mainnet right there they already have the i6 tokens swapped out from uh right now it's currently on erc20 but they're gonna swap it out to their own tokens all right on their own platform so it's it's getting ready to wrap up guys you want to get in before all this happens all right so you can already see the dApps happening here sentinel protocol is a blockchain security that's one of their dApps blue well sharing economy and of course my favorite the social game platform smallgate stove all right they're gonna kill it right here man i'm excited to see this you know a real actual you know high quality game coming out of a blockchain unheard of that's gonna happen because if you see on ethereum there's their platform is so weak when it comes to developing games or you know anything in that realm I, i've seen it, it it looks terrible all right i tested out some of these games and it doesn't function it doesn't work it's too slow it doesn't work but icx with this company combined they're going to make it they're going to make real games on blockchain all right it's going to be fun <laughs> all right so check this out these are all lists of uh smart contracts and dabs you have ethereum eos cardano i'm sorry these are the ones that are taking off the most that's why i move all my money you know to uh neo cardano eos and i made a lot of money with this past month by doing that okay the biggest winner was ontology and that one's launched on the neo platform so what's going to happen to neo neo is going to actually go up in value because people are using ontology and i believe if it works like ethereum it has to use gas every time they use a transaction all right on ontology and it will happen onto neo very exciting times here we go icon rank 10 445 this thing's cheap all right this thing's cheap i'm telling you because this thing has a lot of room to grow and i could say it could be Qno for sure we know that all right Qno second place in neo in china why would they choose Qno? i mean Qno's a great project for sure but neo is already adoption wise way ahead of the game so for korea they're going to advance and pass a lot of these all right all right so there you have it oh last thing social wallet now this is another ICO that's coming up in 20 days and the reason why this is very hot and has a potential just like fire token to do a, a 10 or 20x gain in in a few months all right if you understand what they do you can know why so what social wallet does is you can use any social media platform whether it's youtube twitter facebook you can send anyone that you don't even know tokens or coins all right so now they partner up with fire token here all right they partner up with fire token here 
meaning that you can actually send anybody buyer tokens. All right, you can just send them to the email. All you need is just their username. If you have your username, you can send it to them on Facebook. If you have it on your username on Twitter, you can send them fire tokens on Twitter or Bitcoins or whatever uh, whatever coins they carry on social wallet. So this is going to bridge the gap between blockchain and mainstream. So you can send cryptocurrency to anybody, your family members, friends, they're on Facebook, right? You can send it to them. And no one else does this. No one else can do this yet. No one else has this yet. All right, to bridge all these social media platforms here. So social wallets already, um, their API is already set up with Facebook and Twitter. Done. That's the top social media platforms out there. I'm telling you, check them out. This this has a very fast potential to grow. So come check it out. Take your time, check it out. But all right, there you go, guys. So all right, so you have the Fire Token ICO pre ICO forty cents. Three more days. All right, so they're selling. So you guys better get on this before it gets sold out. You have icon all right start loading up on these uh protocol coins all right if you don't know what that is it's these coins that you can launch dApps on icos on because they're going to be using neo ethereum icx to launch icos and dApps decentralized apps and it's only going to be more of it all right so competition starting now is racing to see who has the best platform all right guys so if you guys like what i'm bringing to you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the alert too for more update information, um, I do spend time to find the best opportunities out there. And when I do, I share it, okay? I let the people know in my groups and I make a video about it. But I definitely let the people in my groups know first. So you guys got to get in the groups to get the latest information. And also work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Anyone ask me questions, I always answer it. Go ahead and then comment. Win $100, you know, easy money right there. And make sure to like too, all right? And I'll see you guys on the next video.